Okay, guys, no connections. It's a problem with your Wi-Fi or Internet. Uh, it is not connected. Uh, it's Ethernet problems or the Wi-Fi problems. You're going to follow this tutorial. So go to the source and you're going to type control panel. Just open the control panel. Here, uh, you're going to make large icons if it is small. doesn't matter if it is, it is uh, small, not a problem. So if you make it uh, large, you can see it clearly. You want to look for internet options. Here you have. Uh, you're going to open it. Click on it. Give a double click on it and you can open it. Here you have advanced options. The first thing that you can do is, uh, here you have a restore advanced setting. So click on restore advanced setting. So it doesn't matter whether you have a problem, you know, Windows 11, Windows 10, 8, 7, you're going to follow the tutorial. Just restore and then click on apply and okay. And I hope this fixes the issue. Still the issue persists. Uh, so my one more step that you're going to try. You're going to open the command prompt as an administrator. And then you're going to type your commands. So here it is, guys. It's ipconfig slash plus TNS. You're going to type this command and press enter key. You can see successfully flossed. In the same way, one by one, you're going to type all these commands. Make a note of it. One by one, you're going to type all these commands. And after typing each command, you're going to press Enter key. And finally, you'll restart your PC. And I hope your Wi-Fi is not connected uh, and internet problems with the Wi-Fi and network adapter should be gone. The third thing you can do is just uh, update your PC. Go to the source and U-P-T-A-T. -T, or will type update. Uh, go to check for updates, check for updates and if any update is available, you're going to update your PC and restart your PC after update and see if the problem is fixed. Updating the PC will fix some of the minor problems. Next thing you can do is uh, go to source and type troubleshoot. Here you have a troubleshoot settings. Now you're going to click on other troubleshooters and here you have our network and internet. Just click on run. It will take some time. Okay, guys, you're going to see this message. You can see you are connected to the internet and we do not find any problem with your network adapters. Now you're going to close this. I hope this quick tutorial helped you fix the issue. If it fixes, share this video with your friends and family.